Felix the Toy DX is a 3D platformer collectathon which embodies many powerful artistic goals. More than anything, it desires to recreate the magic, mystery, and adventure of childhood as seen through the eyes of one tiny toy. It's honestly a pretty genius concept for a 3D collectathon. The genre is naturally built around exploration, discovery, and fostering a sense of wonder. It's a natural fit, but that places a lot of weight on the presentation, atmosphere, and especially the level design to carry the package. Crafting any 3D platformer is tough, let alone from such a distinctive perspective. There are many variables to account for. How will verticality factor into the level layout? How does one gate the player's progress in a sensible fashion while still maintaining an organic feel? And how can one draw the player's eye naturally to points of interest? For the most part, Felix the Toy resolves these questions with graceful ease. It incorporates verticality seamlessly and inextricably into its design. Every level starts with you jogging about listlessly on the floor, seeing countertops, store displays, and dining tables tower over you like skyscrapers, littered with shiny collectibles. From there, one question springs to mind. How do I get up there? This simple question forms the backbone of Felix's gameplay experience. Without pause, it instantly transports the player back to their own time playing with toys, when the world seemed incomprehensibly massive and it was easy to empathize with these diminutive plastic figurines. Everything was grand and unreachable, but kids and their toys would always find a way to explore. But even a compelling premise and gameplay loop are nothing without proper level design. It isn't enough just to entice the player with exploration, it has to feel natural to explore. Thankfully, Felix knocks this out of the park thanks largely to its minimalist and highly distinctive art style. Everything in this game is made of simple, abstract geometry, which your mind instantly interprets as a complex real-world equivalent. This is the best of both worlds. You get a simple, clean landscape with clear points of interaction, and the immediate emotional association of a more realistic environment. So Felix excels in utilizing verticality and successfully draws the player's mind and eye to places of interest. That just leaves one big question. How does it gate your progress? At first blush, the answer is obvious. Because you're so small, you have to visually dissect the levels piece by piece, gradually making your way upward as you explore the simple geometry. Refrigerator doors, rubber duckies, barbecue grills, and cat toys all become opportunities in the world of Felix the Toy. You identify these everyday objects, isolate them as platforms, then slowly piece them back together to form a cohesive whole. The only thing gating your progress is your own stature and your understanding of the world around you. Sounds pretty seamless, yeah? And I mean, it would be, if not for the invisible barriers. Felix egregiously, excessively employs invisible walls to halt the player. There will be countless obvious and inviting jumps rendered impossible by these obnoxious unseeable obstacles. Not only is it frustrating to plummet down after you crash into a ghostly barrier, it completely shatters the fourth wall. Now I'm no longer a toy leaping through a mall feeder, I'm a weird yellow hitbox crashing against the boundary conditions of its video game prison. It's harsh and frustrating. So no, Felix does not do a great job gating the player's progress. It uses a warhammer where a delicate touch already sufficed. The invisible barriers are truthfully symptomatic of a much greater issue. Felix the toy is unsure of itself. It is so close to attaining perfect artistic cohesion, but stumbles at the finish line. To give another example, there are two game modes available, Explorer Mode and Bonus Mode. Explorer Mode just asks the player to hit a few key collectibles to proceed, while Bonus Mode asks the player to collect every coin in the level. Bonus Mode was once titled Collector Mode, and it also had a more flattering description before. But now, the description instead reads, Mindlessly Collect Coins. Mindlessly Collect Coins. It's a huge slap in the face not only to the game itself, but the players who select this game type. Collecting coins in Felix the Toy is not a mindless or trivial task. Could many of the coins be placed better? 
undoubtedly, but collecting each of them also allows you to see the whole level. It encourages you to scour every nook and cranny for shiny collectibles, brush against every game console, every cereal box, every piece of patio furniture. It's a completely different, more meditative, and no less valuable experience than Explorer Mode. But at some point it was gravely saddled with the bonus label and given an insulting descriptor. This was a change for the worse, and certainly not the only one. Because you may have noticed the DX in Felix the Toy DX's title. And yeah, it's had quite a bit of post-launch work done. Several levels were added or altered, invisible walls were placed, art assets were changed, the training mode was removed, the UI was redone, you get the picture. All these updates just serve to needlessly bloat the core experience and dilute its best qualities. But in spite of my criticisms, its best qualities still shine through in the end. Felix is a game which lives and dies on its emotional presence and atmosphere. Through use of simple abstraction, contrast, and neon lighting, it excellently recreates a living, playable memory of shared social and emotional spaces. The Synthwave soundtrack was also a killer choice, as it captures the childhood juxtaposition of innocent wonder and ominous uncertainty. The best levels by far are the Truck Stop and Andrew's House, which came out long before the DX release, but even the new entries like the Mall and Carnival provide a sense of majesty and grandeur. For full disclosure, I know this game's developer. We're friends, and we chat on Discord. One of the levels is even themed after me. You're very welcome to take that as an admission of bias, but I think it also speaks to Felix's deeply human heart. As simple as it is, it says so much of humankind and how we see the world. That's why I'm still playing it now, three years later.